Hello and welcome wellness warriors to this week's Tip Tuesday. So on today's episode, I'm going to give you some tips on how to ditch the sugar, the diet roller coaster. I'm saying sugar, but you need to ditch sugar anyways. So if you do a simple Google search, okay, and you're trying to learn the best ways to choose healthy foods, um, healthy food items, you're going to find that there is a bunch of conflicting information out there. And this can be really overwhelming when you already have no idea where you need to start, but you know you want to actively work towards better health, right? So let me introduce myself. Um, I am Dr. Wanda, okay, if we're meeting for the first time, and I specialize in helping women over the age of 40 with metabolic and autoimmune conditions better their health at the cellular level. Now, I do this by helping you guys reduce toxins, inflammation, gut discomfort, and pain in as little as 30 days, okay? Now, to not get stuck into whatever the newest uh, meal plan is trending, okay, it's essential that you put more emphasis on some simple rules to live by. And these are very simple. They're not easy, but they're simple. So following a framework for wellness this allows you to feel secure in your choices, okay? And like we're um, standing on a firm foundation that won't be shaken. And that's good. That's what we want to build a foundation. And when the next trendy diet comes along, you won't fall off. And as you guys know, I don't subscribe to fad or yo-yo diets. So here are some good rules to kind of live by to help you. Number one, you want to keep the portion size in check, okay? Because because this is important because many people don't really pay attention to the portion sizes, but it can make or break how you feel. Now, both after meal times and regarding your health in general. So this is important. Sticking to your ideal portion size can leave you feeling very fulfilled without overeating and without undereating. So again, your ideal portion size, it's worth repeating. That's very important. The second thing you want to do is swap out your beverages, okay? Whether you're always going for a latte on the way to work or in the office or wherever you go, or you grab a pop um, in the afternoon at your desk or sitting in your truck or car, whatever you're doing in the afternoon, try swapping out one beverage for some water. And this can make a big difference in your overall hydration because your cells need it. See, cells need that. Hydration is very pivotal, guys, to feeling energized, even more so than caffeine, which we want to grab. So don't pass up the opportunity to grab some water, all right? Instead, you can slowly um, exchange these things out, um, those sugary drinks out for some water um, until you get the habit to stick, all right? Seven-day wellness habit challenge link is going to be below. Number three, don't neglect your cravings. That's very important as well. Simply acknowledging your cravings and having a small portion is when you can begin to take the power back into owning and being in control. So having a craving doesn't necessarily mean there's this is opportunity for you to go binge eating. No, it's instead it's a normal signal of our body that gives us to um, that we need to address and move forward. So we need to identify that. Spending less time daydreaming about the food it's going to give you uh, less power, you know, give you more power, you know, so it's going to decrease the power that it has over you. So you don't want to do that. Therefore, normalizing it um, helps you better, you know, so it doesn't make you have more or less. The fourth thing is you want to try something new. So a lot of nutritionists that I've known and work with, they always say eating the rainbow. This means that no fruit or vegetables are off limits and you should regularly add them to your diet. So you want a variety of colors. Don't just settle for only green veggies, okay? Instead, you want to enjoy an assor assortment of fruits and veggies, mixing things up. So mixing up your produce so you can enjoy and you can also find new things that you love. This habit also keeps you from getting bored with your food by eating the same thing over and over again, and you're going to just have a different plate, all right? If you've liked these tips so far, please like, share, and subscribe. I really would appreciate that. The fifth thing is topping your meal. So what do I mean by that? It's possible to keep meals simple while still loading up with some healthy additions. So you want to top off things. So keeping an assortment of toppings in your pantry <clears throat> can add more nutrients to your diet. So this means like drizzling olive oil, some sprinkling some seeds on certain things, using fresh herbs. 
and it's very easy to um, get creative with toppings because they require little or no effort and it brings out flavor in your food so you can put some orange slices or mandarin oranges on some things if you want to do that because your food is meant to be enjoyed it should not be a bane to you you know or a strain you know strain mindfulness okay so being mindful of what you put in your body really helps you elevate the enjoyment because now you know you're making smart choices and it's the right fuel for your body at your cellular level and you're getting the energy you need. So if you are really ready and you really want to get off this hamster wheel, then I would like for you to go to successwithwanda.com forward slash services. The link is below and choose the right package for you. If you get confused, just get on discovery call with me. The link is below as well. As I always say, procrastination never met a go. Bye for now.